Today, I am going to show you how to install Docker and Portainer on your Open Media Vault machine so that you can run various types of applications easily. Now, we should know a little about Docker. Normally, if you run any application on a computer, it requires many files and features. It may need some files of operating system for networking. It may need a web server to show its web page or need a database application to save data. And the application won't function without it. You may have all the things required for that application to function, but someone else who also wants to run the application may not have them. Or maybe they have a different version of file or database or even operating system itself that is not compatible. This means that there is no guarantee that the application will work on all computers. Docker was created to solve this issue. Docker is a container runtime. It runs the application inside a container which has everything it needs in order to function. When running an application inside Docker, you don't need to worry about whether this version of application would work with your version of operating system. With Docker, it almost always works. The application along with all the necessary files are packed in what is called a Docker image that you can download and run on any system running Docker. Another thing that I like about Docker is that it separates application from data. That means all your data is on a separate volume or folder and all your application is in Docker image. You can delete the application or even entire operating system. You can copy it on a new system, run the same Docker image and all the application is back to working as it was earlier. Docker is also useful for testing. You can try new versions of an application. If you don't like it, just change the version number of the Docker image to the previous one and everything is back to however it was. Or as I like to do when I am testing some new setting or customization, I will run a new instance of the same Docker image, do my testing there. If everything works, I can apply those settings to my main Docker instance. Docker Hub is one of the repos where you can find Docker images for your application. Just find a Docker image, copy the pull command on the right side, Run the command into a terminal as root and the image should be downloaded on your system. You can run the same command with a run option rather than pull and this will download and run the docker image on your system. However, if you want to run an application in docker, you should follow the instruction mentioned on the docker hub page of the image. You can also install docker on windows, however it is a completely different process so I will make a separate video for that. We will also need portainer. Portainer is a web interface to easily create and manage docker containers without needing to go into command line. First, make sure that OMV extra plugins package has been installed. If you have not done it already, please watch my previous videos on open media vault installation where I have also shown how to install extra plugin package. Also note that I am making this video on open media vault 6.5.6 and their maintainers may change the way docker is installed. So you may need to find how to install docker if you are watching this video years after upload. After logging into Open Media World, click on System, then OMV Extras. Here, check the Docker repo checkbox and click Save. Then go to System, Plugins and search for Docker. From the search list, select the Open Media World Compose plugin and click Install on the top right corner and Confirm. Wait for the install to finish. That's it, Docker has been installed. Now we are going to install Portainer on our machine so that we can easily install and manage Docker on our Open Media Vault machine. For this, open Putty if you are on Windows machine, type in the IP address of the Open Media Vault and press enter. If you are on a Mac or Linux, you can open terminal, then type ssh space the IP address of Open Media Vault and hit enter. Enter root as user and password that you have set during installation. Paste these two commands one by one into terminal and press enter to install Portainer. The first one creates a docker volume where Portainer will store its data and the second one downloads and runs Portainer image inside docker. Actually we will be running Portainer inside docker as a docker container to manage docker itself. If docker didn't throw any error, it means that Portainer has successfully been installed on your computer. Now we are going to open Portainer to check if it is accessible. Open your browser and enter the IP address of your machine in this format and hit enter. You can ignore the warnings as this is running on your own server and you can trust it. After successful installation of Portainer, you should also be greeted with a similar screen. It is asking to set username and password of the administrator. It is recommended that you also change the username along with setting a password. Portainer can control Docker environment running on other systems as well. However, since we are only running Docker in this system, we will select first option which says proceed using local environment. Here, it shows all the environments monitored by our portainer. It only shows local. If you click on local, it will show how many containers, images, volumes you have. As we have only running portainer inside Docker, only this is showing under containers. That's it for this video. We have successfully installed Docker and portainer. In the future videos, I am going to explore many applications that are easier to run in a Docker container. So stay tuned for that. Hit like if this video was helpful and get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos.